deliver this statement on behalf of Kenya, Niger, St. Vincent and the Grenadines and Tunisia, the A3 plus one. At the outset, we would like to convey our thanks to the UN Secretary General and to the Chairperson of the African Union Commission for their respective reports on the situation in Somalia. We also thank the Special Representative of the Secretary General and Head of the United Nations Assistant Mission in Somalia, Mr. James Swan, the Special Representative of the Chairperson of the African Union Commission for Somalia and Head of the African Union Mission in Somalia, Amison, Mr. Francisco Madeira and the Managing Director for Africa at the European External Action Service, Ms. Rita Larangina, for their briefings. We also would like to recognize the participation of His Excellency Mr. Abdelintak Mohammed, Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation of Somalia to this meeting. Our statement will focus on the political developments and the preparations for the elections, the security situation, with a particular attention to the role of AMISOM and the humanitarian situation in Somalia. On the political development, the A3 plus one return. On the political development, the A3 plus one reaffirms its full support to a safe, peaceful, and orderly transition in Somalia based on constitutional order, the rule of law, and human rights, and unwavering commitment to the sovereignty, unity, and territorial integrity of Somalia. The A3 the A3 plus one regrets that the election, the electoral agreement reached by the federal government of Somalia and the federal member states on September 17, 2020, which was subsequently adopted by both houses of parliament, is yet to be fully implemented. As a consequence, the parliamentary elections that were expected by the end of 2020, as well as the election of the speakers of parliament and the president that were to be held by February the 8th, 2021, are yet to be to take place, leading to heightened tensions and political uncertainties. We deeply regret the violent incidents and the reported casualties last Friday in Mogadishu. While reaffirming the right to peaceful demonstration, we call on all parties to exercise maximum restraint and to avoid any escalation. We encourage the federal government of Somalia and the federal member states to continue with their ongoing dialogue guided by the spirit of consensus and readiness for compromise with a view to reach an agreement on the remaining outstanding issues. In this regard, we welcome the formation for that purpose of a technical team at the ministerial level between the federal government and the federal member states that convened its first meeting on the 15th of this month. We underline the vital importance of holding free, fair, timely, transparent and credible elections in Somalia to realize the legitimate aspirations to security, stability, democracy, good government, governance and development. In this regard, we call upon all the relevant Somali stakeholders to refrain from undertaking any unilateral or non-consensual measures that might further complicate the situation. At the same time, we call for the renewed commitment of Somalia's partners to providing timely and adequate support for, to the government of Somalia in order to ensure that the electoral process is conducted in a successful and peaceful manner. We also hope that the agreement reached between the leadership of the federal government of Somalia and the federal member states on the 30 percent uh, quota for women will be uh, upheld. We welcome in this regard the endorsement by the federal government of the Somali Women's Charter, which set a 50% women representation target. We also welcome the formation by the federal government of Somalia of a technical committee to prepare a roadmap for one person, one vote universal elections in 2024, 2025, and encourage thorough cons consultations with the federal member states and other stakeholders for this rapid adoption, for its rapid adoption. On the security situation, the A3 plus one remains deeply concerned about the volatile security situation in Somalia. We strongly condemn mm -hmm. of, the late, uh, of the latest terrorist attacks perpetrated by, uh, by Al-Shabaab and express our sincere condolences to the families of the victims and to the Somali people and government. We also profoundly regret the loss of civilian 
lives and pay tribute to the ultimate sacrifice made by Amisom and Somali security forces personnel in the fight against terrorism. The A3 plus one shares the view that al Shabaab remains the most immediate threat to the stability and security of Somalia, having evolved over the years from a primarily military threat to the survival of the Somali state to a terrorist hybrid and a asymmetric threat. We also agree that despite the progress achieved so far, Somalia still needs international support to fight against al Shabaab and to help build state capacity until it is able to take full responsibility of its own security. In particular, given the hybrid terrorist threat posed by al Shabaab, increased resources should be devoted to developing and enhancing capabilities such as counter-IED, counter-terrorism intelligence, and counter-terrorism operations. The A3 plus one further believes that al Shabaab cannot be defeated solely by military means. More efforts should be made to diminish al Shabaab's access to finance, tackle its ability to recruit and radicalize, and counter its extremist propaganda. The promotion of the rule of law, justice, and human rights, state building, governance, economic development, institutional capacity building, and the extension of state authority through inclusive politics and reconciliation are also necessary for the eventual permanent defeat of al Shabaab. In this regard, the A3 plus one encourages the federal government of Somalia to expedite the finalization of the revised Somali transition plan as a Somali-owned and led inclusive process between the federal government of Somalia and the federal member states and looks forward to its consideration and endorsement by the Peace and Security Council as the basis for the African Union continued commitment and contribution to the peace and security of Somalia with the support of international partners. Madam President, while renewing our appreciation for the sustained contributions of the United Nations and of the international partners to bringing peace, security, and stability in Somalia, we would like to focus more specifically as the A3 plus one on the role of AMISOM and Somali security forces. We note that the independent assessment of international support to the whole security environment in Somalia post-2021 that was submitted to the Council by the Secretary General in January 2021 concluded that a reconfigured AMISOM is the most viable option for providing an international security operation capable of protecting the Somali state and international partners, disrupting al Shabaab and other threats, and operating in support of the Somali security forces. Confirming that the A3 plus one and the African Union have been stating for a long time now, the independent assessment underscored that AMISOM is underfunded compared to similar sized UN stabilization operations and that the continued continuation of the UN support package via uh, UN uh, ANSOS and additional support via the uh, European Union and other willing donors and the AMISOM Trust Fund should be a minimum pre prerequisite. It added that the optimal solution would be UN assessed contribution funding for a reconfigured AMISOM. The report also pointed to the stance of unfairness due to the fact that the African troops deployed to AMISOM receive only 70% of the stipends of those deployed in UN peacekeeping operations where they face considerably less risk. It concluded that the current situation undermines the moral and effectiveness of the mission. Madam President, the African Union Peace and Security Council in its communique of February 9th, 2021, welcomed the envisaged configuration of AMISOM in collaboration with the Somali security forces. It urged the federal government of Somalia and the federal member states to expedite the force generation processes to enhance Somali security forces capabilities to the required levels that will enable AMISOM's reconfiguration to be completed to adequately support the key priorities of the Somali transition plan. At the same time, the Peace and Security Council appealed to the international community and in particular the UN Security Council to avail 
the space necessary for the federal government of Somalia in close collaboration with the African Union to lead the discussions concerning the international engagement with Somalia post-2021, in line with the Somali transition plan. The A3 plus one believes that the Security Council should heed this appeal 